Hi Kingdom Army peeps! I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. This is part two. I wanted to share more about how to apply the faith over feelings and what the Lord gave me was um, I pray that this would speak to your life in Jesus name. What the Lord gave me is what was said in Deuteronomy and it says repeat them again and he says, and you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road, when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Tie them around your hands and wear them around your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. The Lord your God will soon bring you into the land he swore to you to you when he made a vow to your ancestors Abraham Isaac and Jacob so about this the Lord just to reap the Lord says write them on the doorposts of their house and it's basically a reminder of what the Lord has done and um, in that same way um, friends I'm just gonna tell you be vulnerable and tell you that when I came to the Lord I knew there was a battle for my soul my life I need to get into the Word of God and what I did is I wrote down scriptures and I, I, I seemed like a crazy person because I wrote down scriptures with cards and they were all over my mirror and I constantly repeated it and I took a hold of the word of God, but I saw the word of God at power in my life that I started to believe those promises I would speak over my life. I am blessed when I go in. I am blessed when I go out. So I encourage you to declare and decree and believe and faith comes by hearing, um, Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So you fill your mind with it, fill your life with it. What Do what you need to do. When you hear the enemy speak to you and you discern, just speak out loud. I am a child of God. Thank you, Lord. I am set free, delivered, healed. And speak out who God says you are. Speak out the truth. But you have a voice. Use it. Don't let the voice of the enemy silence your voice. But be a voice for the kingdom of God. Be a voice and believe what God says. And so I just encourage you to write down scriptures, write it down in a notebook, meditate on it, munch on it, let it become life to you and believe and you shall see the glory of God, friends. May God bless you on this day and always. I love you so much and I pray that God would make you whole in every way. I pray that he would save you in Jesus name and I believe that the translation of saved means saved, healed, delivered, but I just pray that God would do all of that, that he would save you, make you whole, deliver you. I as you spend time with him, may, may you seek him. Friends, he's not mad at you. He loves you so much. He really does. Don't let the lies of the enemy that God hates you or something discourage you. Um, I remember I met a girl at Walmart and um, I talked with her with the, about the Lord. She was going through things and she, um, she actually was she said she you know she's into woman and she's like God hates God hates me and you see she believed that lie she used to go to church but she stopped going to church and she strayed from the Lord and she really began to believe that lie that God just hates me and um, and that's not true God died for all people and he wants to see her walk in her identity and him and to draw close to him friends when you um, when you're down don't feel like oh, I'll never be close to the Lord friends he's waiting for you to to come to him and um, to find that wholeness to be satisfied but you know the Word of God says he says I am that water that living water and those who drink of me will never thirst again friends come to him come to him he will make you holy desires you he loves you so much walk in victory today walk with him today just come to him give him your weaknesses because when you are weak he is strong God bless you.